Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, so today we will do a tutorial on a past year question on PSPM1 about chapter 2 on projectiles. So with me, Madam Shahida from Kamenet. Okay, so if you look at here, the diagram here, so you could see here, if you look at here, this is an example of projectile, meaning projectile happen at component X and component Y. Okay, this is question on PSPM 2019-2020, question number 2B. Figure to show a stream of water hitting a wall. So this is your wall. This is your water. At height 8 meter. So this is SY. The velocity is 40 ms negative 1 at angle 35 degree below the horizontal. So this one we are talking about uh, the angle and the velocity when it's hitting a wall. So this is V. V is hitting the wall and so the angle is hitting the wall which is attached to X component lah, because the word horizontal. Determine the initial velocity. So meaning they ask you to find U of the water when it leaves the nozzle. Uh, so this is nozzle. The example in our real life, lah, this is nozzle which is the water stream is hitting the wall. So they ask you to find u. Since they ask you to find initial velocity, we the word velocity itself it means it need to have magnitude and also direction. Because remember back the velocity meaning is a vector quantity. So your answer should have magnitude and direction. So eight mark. All right. So what the first thing we need to do first. Okay, since they have they give you diagram, so you have your uh, imagination. Okay, so look at the angle because we have angle here. So we need to identify three types of a projectile. One is projectile with angle. One is a uh, free fall. One is the horizontal projectile. Since we have angle here, so this is a projectile. Okay. So what we need to do next, we need to draw a table. Okay, so we draw a table, so we have x component, y component, because this one, they resolve into two components, x and y, so we put, we have uas. Okay, so I use this formula, uas, u is a initial velocity, which is the final, a is acceleration, s is displacement. So what is constant, the ax is always remain 0, ay is negative 9.81. Okay, next we fill in the table here so what do we have here so we have u x we unknown lah because my u is unknown my angle is unknown so i just put u cos theta my y is u sin theta my v here is always same with the x because v x equals to u x my v y is always unknown because v y at different level have different value so just put unknown my sx sx is from here to here from uh, for the ground at this from the ridge uh, so this is unknown also how about my y component so this is 8 so 8 here is positive why do i put positive because this is my initial this is my final so it's not back to the original initial reference point so that's why it's positive okay so you remember if you are playing a, a football so this is your initial you say pak bola right so dia kena kat ground balik so this is your initial, ni bola you, the initial, the sepak, the back to the ground. So this is your final. So it's moving up, let's say 10, positive 10, because it's moving up. And then it's going down, it's negative 10. So here is SY is 0. I'm talking about displacement, I'm talking not, not talking about the height. The height is different. Okay, so when it's negative, negative happen when it's more than the initial reference point. This is your initial. So this is not your final. Your final is moving down. Meaning, uh, example, the on the from the cliff, right? uh, from the cliff. So this is initial. So this, uh, let's say, is moving up ten and is moving down negative ten and moving down with negative eight. So that's why your S Y here is negative eight. So for this case, it's not more than initial reference point. Dia tak melebihi initial reference point. So that's why the adalah positive. So that's why it's positive. Okay, so I hope you understand about the SY. Eh? Don't get them confused on the SY. Okay, the next one, what we need to do, we have to put the equation. Okay, so the equation that we can use for X component is only one. 
which is sx equals to ux t. So that is the only equation that we can use. Other than that, they are useful lah. Okay, how about y component? All the equation can be used. The wuat, suzas, and the sutat. You don't have to memorize this. This is given in your exam lah. So you need to follow up first. Okay, so how about the 40 and 35? Okay, this is your V final lah, meaning so your V final is 40. So, they boleh divide by into 2 for V final X and V final Y. So, your V final y, X is 40 cos 35. Your V final Y is negative 40 sine 35. Why do I put negative? Because it's moving downward. Uh, it's moving downward, so that's why it's negative. Okay, so that is all the information that we need to identify and interpret. Okay, so now back to the question, they ask you to find initial velocity, meaning they ask you to find u here. So I have to focus on the u here. Okay, let's start with the x. Kita selalu start dekat rumah x. So my x, we only have one equation, as x equals to u x t. Do I have sx? No. Do I ux? Yes, but I don't know the u. I don't know the theta. So I have too many unknown. And t also I don't know. So I can't use this for first formula. So tak boleh guna formula rumah x. So I have to change. Pergi ke rumah y. So make sure you jangan cross the, the formula belong to x is only this. Hanya satu je. For y component, we have three formula that we can use. So we have to start by one by one lah because we don't have time. So you cannot use time. You only live with this one equation. Wuzas. Wuzas. Okay, the Wuzas. Okay, so how we want to do this? So I will use formula Wuzas. Okay, but this formula is the one that I will use is only depend on y at this. Y at this, yeah? Jangan pergi cross dekat x. Because we are doing for y component. Okay, by using this formula, Wuzas, so do I, V here, I will use the Y component. So I have here Y component, negative 14 sine 35 bracket squared plus, okay, sorry, my equal U. U is U sine theta plus 2 negative 9.81 S is 8. So, I will get this formula. Okay, I will not get the answer. I will get the, this one. Make it my u sin theta s as my subject. So, what will I do? Okay, so we move on to the next one. So, by using that formula, eh, uh, wuzas, uh, wuzas. I'm doing on y component. Eh? So, everything is belong to y. So, I get tadi negative 14 sine 35 squared equals to u sine theta squared plus 2 negative 9.81 S, uh, my SY is positive 8. Okay, so this one, I will make it as a subject. So, I will leave it there. So, yang lain ni, this one, I bring it here. So, negative 40 sine 35 squared minus 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 2 negative 9.81 8 equals to u sine theta squared. Okay, so minus minus we can have a positive. This square, I don't want to square so I square root it. So negative 14 sine 35 squared plus 2 9.81 equals to u sine theta where this square I make it is a square root sebab saya square both side lah so yang ini akan hilang so I will leave with u sine theta so this one you calculate sekali jalan guna calculator maksudnya ni saya tak buat ok so saya tekan calculator leave it with a two answer only two decimal place sorry two decimal place so I will get 26 0.14 so 26.14 ms negative 1 because I this is 
uh, velocity. But this is not final answer because this is velocity on component y. Okay, so how about this is my component y. How about my component x? We already know the component x, the vx is always equals to ux. So the vx that you have before, tadi yang you letak tadi adalah 40 cos 35. So, tadi kan kita ada mention 40 cos 35 adalah belong to V final X. So, actually is equal to UX because your AX is always 0. Ha, ingat acceleration adalah velocity tolak U. Nak dapatkan sama, mesti sama nilai. So, 10 tolak ke acceleration sama dengan V tolak U over T. So, let's say your V adalah sama nilai. Ha, ni 40 cos 35. So, 40 cos 35 tolak 40 cos 35. Uh, divide by any number so you will get 0. So that's why the ux and vx always constant. Okay, so now what do I need to do next? Okay, so if you remember math at maths, when we have sine and cos, uh, so when we have sine and cos, okay, we can do the tangent. Okay, before that, ni tak habis lagi tadi eh. Vx equals to ux equals to 40 cos 35. Where ux equals to tadi u cos theta. Because the theta is not same eh? 35. So this one is my first equation. Sorry, first. This one will be my second equation. Vx equals to ux. Where vx is given 40 cos 35. Final tadi. But ux is u cos theta. u is not same. Theta is different. But the final value is the same. Eh? Okay, so we need to do the tangent. So we tangent. Lah. So to get tangent, sine divided by cos. Okay, so we want to make it a tangent. So 1 divided by 2. So u sine theta over u cos theta equals to your u sine you get 26.14 your u cos we don't calculate but we know that it's a 40 cos 35 uu we can cancel sine divided by tan cos we get tangent so here we will get 26.14 divided by 40 cos 35 so shift tangent uh, shift tangent 26.14 divided by 40 cos 35 so you will get the answer is 38.58 uh, since both of them are positive because it's moving upward so we put here above positive x axis so my angle here the one that we draw the nozzle the one that keluar tu kan uh, the angle is here is positive x and positive y so that is the direction so we need to find the magnitude. So how to find magnitude? So the magnitude we need to find by using okay by using the formula u equals to u x plus u y square root. Okay, you have u x here. This is your u x u cos theta here. Forty cos thirty five. Sorry, this is squared. We have squared. Squared. Plus your UY is here. This is your UY. So you have 26.14 squared. So square root. So you will get the value of U here. So if I put my calculator 40 times cos 35 squared plus with 26.14 squared. So I will get my answer 41.92 ms negative 1. So that is your our final answer.